Look at me. Oh, yeah. What do we have here? What do we have here? <laughs> You're gonna miss me today. Huh? Yeah? Do you want me to leave? Huh? No? I know. That's Bacardi, people, if you guys don't know. The beautiful and lovely Bacardi. Let's turn this motherfucker around. Look at me in the dark. I don't know if you guys can see me. Whatever, man. Whatever, bro. Look at this shit here. We got beer upon beer upon beer. With this one right here, the one that sticks out, Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams. What happened? Did I go black? There we go. What the fuck? It's fucking GoPro. You fucking piece of shit, motherfucker. Samuel Adams right there, man. Look at that. That bottle of beer alone cost two hundred dollars all this shit one of these beers will be in my possession this weekend why because JD is leaving New York man JD is leaving New York and I'm going to Atlantic City I'm gonna have a drink in my hand and in the other hand I usually have a drink in my left hand and then in my right hand I'll have a Wawa meatball sandwich. If you guys don't know what Wawa is, Google. Fucking unbelievable. I know you guys who live in Jersey know what Wawa is. I lived in Atlantic City for seven years when I moved down there. And Wawa became my go-to place, man. Whether I'm home getting drunk, whether I'm binging on fucking uh, video games and I need some food, you walk right down to Wawa, bro. Fucking always open. Always open. 24 hours. But what I'm doing today is I'm gonna be I'm gonna be vlogging. And I'm going to Jersey. And I am taking a little break from this wretched city we call New York because I can't fucking stand it. And the sooner I get out of here the better. And my best friend lives down there, and we are going to drink, and we're going to party, and we are going to bar hop, and we're going to get into some trouble. My buddy Sean Cook down there, and our buddy Sean Burke, who's coming from Delaware, I believe, we are going to get shit-faced, because I deserve it. That's all you need to know. So what I gotta do is because work fucked me, thank you, work, work all week so that I can have the next four days off. Two which are paid, by the way, so I'm getting paid to be home, which is great. But uh, I do have to record several wrestling videos for you guys, podcasts. I have to get the iTunes podcast up. I have to get off the script up because I can't record anything down there. Um, I know I promised him that we'll watch NXT TakeOver again because he doesn't really watch wrestling. But I'm like, dude, you have to watch the Nakamura match versus Sami Zayn. He's like, who? Don't worry about it. We'll get drunk and we'll fucking... Just be amazed all over again. But, um, I just woke up. I'm getting shit ready here. I got a shower. I got a fucking shave because I look like a fucking disaster. Um, and yes, I am wearing a beanie inside because my hair is bed hair and I don't want you to see me all fucked up. Just woke up. I am going to make a cup of coffee, which I will demonstrate right now because this is the start of my day and I want you guys to be a part of my day, bro. This is what we do here in JD household. You see this thing? This is a, uh, this is a Keurig, Keurig View, this is a Keurig View, alright, you see this beast, this beast fucking gets me through many a morning, bro, look at that LCD screen, look at that, you can make coffee, tea, hot cocoa, you can fucking increase the size of the cup, how much liquid per volume, unbelievable, man, and this here is how I start my morning every day, man, look at that. My own coffee grinds. I even have a collection of coffee here, man. Look at this shit. I got some fucking Colombian coffee. Colombian Supremo. Lagging all the way to fucking uh, Atlantic City. Drinking that shit. Yeah, vanilla cupcake. Dunkin' Donuts, which is delicious. And this is what I'm drinking. Newman's own. Newman's a beast. I will tell you that. And then 
this fucking shit, which I spent $9 on because my dad recommended this coffee. Pete's Coffee. Tastes like fucking dirt. I do not recommend it. Garbage. Garbage, just like WrestleMania was. And this is what we have here, man. There is cream in the cup. There's cream in the cup right there. And that is vanilla cream. It's like I'm fucking doing a coffee tutorial over here. You guys know, you guys know I worked at Starbucks. I worked at Starbucks for five years when I lived in Atlantic City. I had moved down there when I was 19, and I was a beast. I was pretty much, just picture the LeBron James of coffee. Actually, the Michael Jordan, because LeBron James, you know, he's not really a winner. He's a semi-winner. Michael Jordan was a winner. So I was the Michael Jordan of fucking coffee making. I could still go behind the bar at Starbucks and make you the best fucking cappuccino ever. Just fucking remember that. So we got van vanilla cream already in there, and we got this. So we're going to open this up. Look at that. Nice and easy. You slide this right in. Like I did with your fucking mother last night. You close the fucking hatch. You put the cup right there. And then we watch. Listen to the sound, people. Listen. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You're going to see the coffee drip out. Look at this. This is how I start my morning, folks. And this is my second cup of the day. Look at it. Oh my god, man. JD vlogging, showing you how to make fucking coffee with the Keurig view. It's an older model, but it gets the job done. I love me some Keurig, man. I love me some Keurig. Anyway, that's that. But, uh, yeah, that's what's going on, man. I'm gonna vlog for you guys. Uh, gonna uh, show you my little adventures down in Atlantic City. Hopefully I don't get fucking jumped walking to the bar with this thing. I might look like a fucking retard. On a selfie stick. Well, I bought a fucking GoPro selfie stick just for you fucking assholes. So that I can vlog. Because last time I vlogged, you guys loved it. Everybody was cresting. JD should do more vlogs. Yeah, right. Whatever. Whatever you guys want, man. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just getting ready. I got a lot of recording to do before I hop in the shower and I get sh uh, pretty and shave. Usually on the way down there, I uh, do nothing but remain in silence and listen to Symphony X for the three hours down there. It should be less than three hours. Two and a half hours. If you're fucking doing 95, if there's no state troopers on the Garden State Parkway, uh, I'll get there in two. But uh, usually I take my time. You gotta stay in the right lane like a good driver because they'll fucking pull you over. They're fucking camping in the bushes like uh, like a fucking sweat in Black Ops 3. But uh, that's pretty much it, man. Vlogs, and I gotta get a lot done for you guys. Um, you know, you'll be seeing me all weekend. I got a bunch of Call of Duty shit uploaded already. You seen one yesterday. I got two Master Prestige episodes. One called a... Uh, sweat named Steven plays fucking sweat on aquarium. aquarium I don't know what it is about aquarium bro there's so many sweats on that map and then the finale I'm ending it because next week starts the series of all series man the best series on fucking YouTube that involves this fucking couch right there and a cold beverage you guys know what I'm talking about but uh, the Newtown finale as well that will probably be uploaded on Sunday and then we'll begin fresh on uh, on Monday and Tuesday with Life After Prestige Master but that's pretty much it, man. You'll be hearing from me. And that's all I got. Let me drink my coffee. Let me get to work. I got a lot of shit to get ready for you guys. Big news this weekend on Off The Script, man. Looks like Vince is watching Off The Script, which I wouldn't doubt because I'm a fucking genius. But other than that, man, I will see you guys later. Take care. And you'll see me on the drive down there to Atlantic City. This is one of the few days you will see me sober. So enjoy it. I'll see you guys later.